During a pandemic, it's easy to overlook, but listening to San Diego County Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Stephen Campman focuses the mind on a crisis in our midst. The number of deaths due to methamphetamine is continuing to increase. Um, more deaths this year than before. The deaths uh, due to fentanyl has hugely increased. Dr. Kampman's calm demeanor belies the magnitude of the problem. The information comes from the just-released report cards from the Prescription Drug Abuse Task Force and the Meth Strike Force. Over the last five years, total meth cause deaths jumped from 377 to 722, a 92 percent increase. The situation with fentanyl is even more dire. 33 deaths in 2016, up to 462 in 2020, a staggering 1,300 percent jump. Dr. Campman says people often buy fentanyl injected into counterfeit pills of oxycodone or Xanax. That highlights a larger cautionary tale that you never know what you're getting when you buy drugs on the street. We've seen people who thought they bought cocaine and died of fentanyl toxicity and there was no cocaine in them at all. Overdoses from meth and fentanyl primarily kill men from their mid-30s to their mid-60s, but perhaps more disturbingly, the crisis isn't limited to adults. The hospitals have seen um, infants and little kids in the emergency rooms experiencing fentanyl toxicity. If you're struggling with addiction or know someone who is, help is available. Go to the website you see on your screen, or you can call 888 724 7240, and that information will be in our web version of this story at kpbs.org. John Carroll, KPBS News.